everyone in this video let's talk about how to find the height on a topographical map so to find the height on a topographical map we generally use the contour lines so you can see at my back these are the contour lines and they are denoted with the help of brown color so if i ask you what is the significance of the brown color you can easily say with the help of the brown color we can see the presence of contours and because of the presence of contours we can easily find the height of a place now if i ask you what is the correct definition of the contour lines contour lines are the imaginary lines that drawn on a map joining places having the same height from the mean sea level so these are of course imaginary lines for an example suppose here is 100 so here is 200 and here is again 100 so what we have to do we have to join the places having the same height so that will be my contour lines now if you observe very carefully these contour lines are running parallel that means they can come very close to each other but they cannot intersect each other now again another thing these contour lines are not drawn randomly they follow a specific interval that is called the contour interval now what is this contour interval let's see contour interval means the difference of height between two consecutive contours for an example this is my one contour and this is my another contour so the difference between these two consecutive contour will be known as the contour interval here you have to remember one thing we have to use this word consecutive or instead of the word consecutive we can also use the word successive otherwise if you just write contour interval means the difference of height between two contours so in that case i can take this contour or i can directly take this contour so in that case interval will be different and that will be not the definition of contour interval so if you observe very carefully here it is written 700 and here it is written 800 now of course there are four lines in between so it will be 720 740 760 780 and of course this one is 800 so the difference between two consecutive contour lines will be 20 meter now how to find the contour interval in a topographical map so if you see a topographical map at the bottom of the topographical map always the interval will be written so here you can see it's written the contour interval is 20 meter so it's not difficult to find the interval of contour lines so it will be written and here another interesting thing you have to mention the unit if you just write the contour interval is 20 in the topographical map so there will be one question mark because you have not written the unit now again if you notice the uh, contour lines very carefully you will see some thicker lines and some thinner lines the question is why is it so and another thing also you will observe the value is not written everywhere because sometimes contour lines are so closely spaced that you can see at my back if i start writing the value of each contour lines it will be too difficult right so what we can do we can take every fifth contour lines or we can write the value so this thick contour lines will be known as index contour or contour index but it is not necessary only after each fifth line the value will be written 
it will be not a difficult task if I ask you to find the value of this control lines. As you already know, the control interval is 20 meter. So you can easily tell it will be 720, it will be 740 and it will be of course 760 meter. So that is the control index. Next, of course, in the topographical map, if you are uh, doing the study of the topographical map, you have seen uh, somewhere it is written uh, with a black color, a dot, a value like that, 234 or something. So what is this? So this is known as the spot height. So it refers to the height of a point on the ground. And of course, it is again above the mean sea level. So sometimes this spot height helps us to find the highest point of a region. For an example, uh, they can give you a topographical sheet or they can ask you to find the highest point of the topographical map. In that case, the spot height can help you. Now, how to find the spot height on a topographical map? For an example, here you can see it is written dot one eighty three. So that is also one example of spot height. So we have seen we can find the height in the topographical map with the help of the contour lines and also with the help of the spot height. But except that there is also another term you have to know that is called the triangulated height. In case of the spot height, they are just the surveyed height. But triangulated height has been accurately surveyed with the help of trigonometry. And the symbol for the triangulated height, there will be one triangle and there will be written any value like 340. For an example, mountain peaks are indicated by the triangulated points. If I ask you, find out the difference between the spot height and the triangulated height, you just have to say the spot height at the height on the uh, ground above mean sea level and it is the surveyed height. But trigonometrical height, they are determined by the trigonometry. Now, in this topographical map also, here you can see it is written triangle 347. So this is one triangulated height in the topographical map. And the interesting thing you have to know, with the help of the control lines, we can easily find out it's a gentle slope or a steep slope. For an example, suppose control lines are very closely located like this. So in that case, it will indicate steep slope. So this is a diagram of a conical hill. And sometimes, Contour lines are not closely spaced. It can be like this. One contour here and one contour is here. So that will indicate gentle slope. Next is to find the height of a place, we can use benchmark. Now, what do you mean by the word benchmark? So generally, this can be written on a building to indicate the accurate height and it is, of course, also determined by the survey. So it can be written like that, BM534. Even in the rail station, wherever the name of the station is written on the yellow board, sometimes you can see that the BM can be written there also. But there is a basic difference between the BM and the spot height. What is that? In case of the spot height, they will indicate the height above the mean sea level, but for the benchmark, the height of the sum point marked above the ground. So it is not above the sea level. So we'll take a particular local ground. Next, we can use the survey tree to find the height of a place. For an example, generally in the topographical maps, trees are shown in green color. So here you can see. But sometimes, Few trees can be drawn with the help of black color, like, so that will be known as the survey trees. Please keep in mind, this height is not the height of the tree. It is the height of a, a particular place that is nearby. 
and the survey trees have the numbers on their trunks and this uh, trees cannot be cut so these are some easiest way to find the height of a place on a topographical map now during examination they can ask you simply the definition of those or they can ask you to give the four grid reference of those so you have to do the practice and of course to practice the definition the best way you can create the mind map so what you can do you can just write the definition and highlight the keywords and you can regularly revise those that's all i hope this topic was interesting for you and easy for you next day we will come with an another video till then stay happy stay safe we are going to meet you very soon